Hello and welcome back to day 10 of the Paralympic Games. On a beautiful day, the sun is shining over the Athletic Stadium and it is the final day of track and field today. Uh, now, more tweets from you. Keep them coming in uh, to us at C4 Paralympics uh, with the hashtag C4 Breakfast. This morning, we've been asking you if you think Oscar Pistorius can win the T44 400m final this evening. He is in danger of going home without any individual gold medals. So this is a big question. Uh, you've been tweeting away with your opinions on this. Uh, Bethany says, I think Oscar, yes, but that he needed to lose the other day. Can't win forever, and it's humbled him. Uh, Daniel says, Oscar, no, sadly not. Went to the athletics yesterday, and Oliveira looked so quick. He, of course, won the 200 metres. Uh, came second in his heat, but gave up in the last 100 metres. Uh, and Caroline Savage uh, has <laughs> tweeted in this lovely picture of Oscar as a Lego <laughs> man and says, Oscar, yes. Very definitive <laughs> from her. Uh, so you can still uh, tweet us and let us know if you think Pistorius has got what it takes. Oscar, yes. Or Oscar, no. If you think the baton is about to be passed to a new generation. We'll have the final results later on. Now with us now is the actress Kelly Marie Stewart who is best known for her role as Hayley in Hollyoaks. Let's have a quick look at what you've been doing. The situation you're in, you're going to need all the help you can get. And what situation's that? Our oh, above average intelligence and halfway through a degree? No, you're going to be a disabled single mum. You need help. You might have to quit uni. My mum said you can go back home. I miss out on my independence and loads of fun. Why do you all think that you know better than I do? Fun? With a newborn? Are you serious? What happens when it gets off a kebab dropped in its face? Kelly, it's interesting because Channel 4 gave you a storyline in Hollyoaks that sort of mirrored real life, which was that, that you were pregnant at the time. Yeah, well, Channel 4 were really supportive because obviously I was in the wheelchair and I went in and told them the news that I was expecting a baby. And they said, great, let's write it in the show. So then obviously Hayley became a disabled mum too. And that's something that you've been campaigning for now because you, you found that when you did have your baby, you couldn't quite look after and she's two now and she's lovely and you, you find you couldn't quite look after in the way that you wanted to because the, there wasn't the, the the kit really for you to be able to do it yeah i mean don't get me wrong you, you do find your own way and you do adapt so i don't want to put any parents off there from having children because you do manage but the problem is i found it really hard to deal with that i couldn't push a pram you know something that other mothers take for granted and you know a guy passed my house every day on a bike and he had a baby seat on his bike and I just found it crazy in this day and age that this man had a baby seat on his bike, but I couldn't get a baby seat to attach to my wheelchair to enable me to be independent with Daisy. Um, and, and so what other stuff have you identified in the course of your campaign that, that needs to sort of change and needs to be developed for, for disabled mums and dads? Well, what we want is um, we've got a government e-petition going now called the Invisible Mums e-petition and we need 100,000 signatures to get us um, into Parliament and what we want is to get um, the government to employ somebody in every hospital who supports the parents and not just the mums, although it's called invisible mums, it's the fathers, you know, who have got children on the way as well who need the support. Um, equipment such as um, a baby seat for the wheelchair, cots which elevate to come down to the level of the person in the wheelchair and stuff and also people with conditions where they've got like a bad back or arthritis they benefit from things like this mm. and we want a member of staff trained because what the hospitals are doing at the moment is passing people onto social services for people to come in and take over and these pe these mums and dads are perfectly good parents they want their independence they don't want things taken over they just want the equipment and the advice and support to enable them to do so alone. Yeah, they just want somebody to tell them how they can do what they want to do naturally. Yeah, of course. Kelly Marie, thanks very much for coming in to talk to us about that this morning. It's been really interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and hopefully you'll, you'll get your petition signed by 100,000 people. Oh, Good. yeah. Invisible mums. There we go. <laughs> There's you. the plug. <laughs>